Shawn Michaels is one of the greatest superstars of all time, but because he retired, there are a ton of opponents that he actually never got to face off against. So we are here to count down five of our dream match opponents for the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. So the three of us worked on this list, and it's really hard to choose just five opponents because I think we can all agree Shawn Michaels could have a great match with everybody, but in no particular order, starting off first, we have a CM Punk. CM Punk, you know, this is one of the greatest superstars of all time. He had a tag team match against Shawn Michaels, but never a one-on-one -on -one battle. Then we have Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero, former WWE champion, my personal favorite superstar of all time. He was supposed to face off against Shawn Michaels, but unfortunately, it never happened. Then we have the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. This was actually talked about. Shawn Michaels openly said he was asked about the opportunity to face off against AJ Styles. The man said, no, we were this close, guys, but it never happened. At number two, we kind of got some physical activity involved between Dan O'Brien and Shawn Michaels. The man gave him some sweet chin music and then proceeded to never actually have that match, which uh, left us a little bit sad. And then, obviously, the great one, the people's champ of the rock for obvious reasons. We think that these two charismatic superstars would have had great promos, great matches, great segments, great pretty much everything. Because when you have these two larger-than-life superstars piled up into one rivalry, you can't go wrong. So these are the five that we would love to see. But now we're going to sort of break down a little bit uh, the ones in, in particular that we would like to see out of this bunch and why. So Keith, uh, what do you got? I think of these five, the one I want to see the most, and maybe it's just because we were this close to it, is uh, John, John Cena, I'm sorry, Shawn Michaels versus AJ Styles. Because if you look at AJ Styles, especially at the point he's at now, he basically is Shawn Michaels in his prime. He can do a lot of the things that Shawn Michaels did, arguably better than Shawn Michaels ever did it. And these guys are such similar like styles to each other and they could they could go oh my god they could go so good in a match you it, you would see some amazing things now if it were to happen today like my oh my uh my big worry like say we live in a world where this happened at the royal rumble or whenever it was supposed to happen I don't know if Shawn Michaels today could keep up with AJ Styles today. Like, I think if the match did happen at this point, it would be somewhat disappointing. But if you had, like, a time machine, you had Shawn Michaels in his prime facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania Shawn Michaels versus AJ Styles right now, you would have one of the greatest matches of all time, period. And then plus, you know, there would also be that amazing spot that we would probably see of the phenomenal forearm into the sweet chin music, which would be something that we would be talking about for years. And for yeah, sure of, of those five, I think that would be the best one for me. I would have to choose Daniel Bryan. I mean, Shawn Michaels is just such a legendary competitor that he warrants basically having his, you know, you think of all the WWE dream matches possible and Shawn Michaels is in at least half of them, which is why we're giving him his own video of just a list of dream opponents. For me, it would be Daniel Bryan. In a lot of ways, Daniel Bryan was sort of the, the new age Bret Hart. He had that technical skill, but he also had this explosive, exciting style along with it too. And I just always wanted to see that matched against Shawn Michaels. I think they would have had a super exciting match if it happened during the time that they teased it. You know, Shawn Michaels obviously ha has been getting older and probably couldn't do everything that he could do before. But I still think even at the time they teased it leading into WrestleMania 30, that it could have really been something awesome um, and at, at least we got something, you know, D Daniel Bryan did get to put Shawn Michaels in the yes lock. So I'll take it as something. There was something between these two, but man, a match could have been, it could have been so epic. And, uh, I'm just sad we, we won't get it. Cause now both of these wrestlers are retired at Daniel Bryan, at least for now. <laughs> it's just so unfortunate that we almost got there. We actually saw that physical involvement. There were all the rumors and unlike the AJ Styles thing, because we actually saw that we saw the potential and then the crowd reaction ultimately if people don't care about a match whatever but here you saw that everybody was so invested into this and the one that i want to bring up as i mentioned my favorite superstar of all time is latino heat it's eddie guerrero and 
Eddie Guerrero and Shawn Michaels actually got better over time. Like, yes, maybe physically speaking, their bodies got beat up a lot more, but they became better storytellers in the ring. Like, Eddie Guerrero wasn't just Latino heat. He had Chi and Steel. He had the tag team run with Chavo Guerrero. All of these things developed him into a much better character. Like, who would have thought we would ever see Eddie Guerrero be Brock Lesnar? Sure, Goldberg got involved in all those things, but the people cared about it. The people were ready, and when you put some Somebody like Shawn Michaels, just think about the things that Eddie Guerrero would do with the steel chair trying to get his opponent disqualified. Imagine Shawn Michaels in that type of scenario going like, come on, that won't happen with me. Like, I'm smarter than that. I'm the heartbreak kid. Like the promos leading up to something like that. You know, you can look at something like Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero closing WrestleMania with the confetti and all that. That match, that magnitude of a match could definitely main event WrestleMania, even if it wasn't for a championship, because Shawn Michaels and Eddie Guerrero are not six foot five, 300 pounds. These are two guys that had to basically destroy their bodies to show that they are two of the greatest superstars of all time. And now you have that bit of a closure. We got Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. That was okay. We got Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle. And that match had a, a couple of things going for it. But look at Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle and how solid that match was and the storytelling uh, of that match. Like Shawn Michaels, it seems like the man can l wrestle forever and still be a top-notch superstar. So those were the three that we would definitely care uh, the most to see happen. Now, in regards to AJ Styles versus CM Punk, just a quick comment. Which one would you rather see the most and why? I would have to take AJ Styles if it was going to be, you know, if who would Shawn Michaels face of the two? I just think uh, you know, AJ is at the top of his game right now. So if you take top of their game AJ versus top of their game Shawn Michaels, I think the match itself would be a little more exciting. Maybe promo-wise, though, CM Punk versus Shawn would have been a lot better. But if we're talking matches, I'm taking AJ Styles every single time. Exactly. If you look in a mirror and see AJ Styles like in his prime, Shawn Michaels looks back at him. They are mirror images of themselves and they could do they can both do things that nobody else can in the ring. And that's wh I, what I think would make it so special. In my case, I think that the match between Shawn Michaels and AJ Styles would be phenomenal. But then think about Shwing. like a D-Generation X, like, you know, early D-Generation X, degenerate Shawn Michaels with Straight Edge Society, CM Punk. That that sharp contrast would be incredible storytelling. People always say like CM Punk belonged in the Attitude Era and that would have been his dream opponent during the actual Attitude Era. Some of that does exist, but it was in the form of tag matches where it was the Straight Edge Society going against D-Generation X. We almost got a little bit of it, we but close. even then, that was not the Shawn Michaels. Th those were the darker days of our, of our favorite iterations of Shawn Michaels. The funny thing is, is The Rock versus Shawn Michaels might have been the furthest one from happening, which is crazy because they were both really big in their time. But I guess there was some sort of friction between the two where they didn't get along. And that's why a match never happened. But, you know, you talked about Eddie Guerrero. There were rumors that the plan for WrestleMania 22 was to have Eddie Guerrero versus Shawn Michaels. But unfortunately, Eddie Guerrero passed away and we never got that match. And, you know, we look at CM Punk and Shawn getting in the ring and then the tease with AJ where they had an entire table for three about it. And then the interactions Daniel Bryan had with Shawn. All of these matches were pretty darn close, except for maybe The Rock. And that's yeah. one that could still potentially happen. It, it's interesting because when you think about Shawn Michaels' career and The Rock's career, they almost happen like whenever one's there that's when the other isn't like Shawn Michaels was there doing his thing got hurt and then that's when The Rock came up and then Shawn was kind of around when The Rock was a big deal but he was like playing the commissioner role and he still hadn't uh, hadn't figured everything out in his life to put it nicely and then by the time The Rock left to go uh, to Hollywood that's when Shawn Michaels came back and had the most amazing run of his life and like the only time they really crossed paths as competitors was Wrestlemania 20 that's the only intersection that they have so when it all comes right down to it the world just could never handle Shawn Michaels versus The Rock those two characters would simply blow the WWE Network service off to the ground so folks those are 
our favorite five dream match opponents for Shawn Michaels. Uh, let us know, like, who would you swap out? Would you completely throw away and burn away this list? Like, comment if you're watching us on YouTube with your five favorite dream match opponents for Shawn Michaels. You can also send us an email to bitethatcast at gmail.com. Also, if you want early access, you want access to a Discord channel, access to a live private show that we do, you can support us at patreon.com slash by that you get to join that awesome buy club community plus you get to support us in the process so until next time thank you for watching and listening stay tuned to our podcast every wednesday live on youtube at 7 15 p.m eastern time and we'll be back with a lot more right here on bite that